iteachgeek.com. <laughs> Ask Brian. That's me. Welcome to I Teach Geek. I'm your host Rashad, and I'm here to show you how to connect your Apache server to the outside world. Most people know how to get it working locally, but they don't know how to connect it to the internet to where people from anywhere in the world can connect to it. First thing of business. We want to go ahead and find out what our gateway and our IP address is. So let's go ahead and find that out. So we can go on our terminal. We want to go ahead and make sure we find out what IP. So we're going to go ahead and put if config in there. And we see that INET address that's your IP address as you can see I'm connected to a router I'm gonna show you more detail on that soon and we want to go ahead and find our routers IP address which is your gateway out to the outside world so we're gonna go ahead and find a router so you can do route dash in and as you can see right here that's my gateway all right, now we want to go ahead and go to our web browser. And let's go ahead and put that gateway in, in the address bar. It should ask you for your credentials. If you don't know your credentials to your router, please find them out and then return. All right, once you get into your router's options, we want to go ahead and go over to applications and gaming or something about port forwarding. All right, as you see, I can have I have stuff already in here that I used before. But we only concerned about I'm going to do port 80 and port 8080. Port 80 should work fine, but put both of them if you want to. We want to change this to the IP address that you had got from the if config back here as you can see mine is 168.1.107 all right so I'll go ahead and change this one too All right, I'll make sure I enable them, both of them, and make sure the ports are 80 and 80 and 80. So you go ahead and save the changes. All right, next step, if you don't have Apache server installed, which you should, if you don't know how to do it in Ubuntu, it's real easy in Ubuntu. You go to apt-git install Apache 2. One is, once it's finished, I already have it installed here, but uh, you just run that, and once it's finished, you go ahead and test it. You go back to your web browser, and to make sure it works, you put localhost in. And you should come to this. It works. If that comes up, you're ready to go. Now, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is we want to go back to our routing settings. When you go back to your router settings we want to go to status we want to find something that says status your routers may be different but you want to go to status now this is your real IP address the IP address that you got from your the IP address that's on your computer right now you're getting from your router but this should be your IP address from your modem this is the IP, this is the port and IP address that you need to know you want to keep the port forwarding IP address the same one I gave you that you got earlier from the if config, but you need this one. So now you need to go to your, your hosting company and you need to change your A record to point to this IP address. 
uh, I, I use GoDaddy and I'll show you how to do it through GoDaddy but any other one you just look it up or call your company and find out how to change your A record to your domain name whatever domain name you have you want to point it to this IP address so let's go ahead and go to my GoDaddy account so I can show you how to do it in GoDaddy alright when you go to GoDaddy you want to go ahead and go into your DNS manager or your domain manager first and then you want to go to your DNS manager go to domain manager and then you want to go to launch right here and we want to change this IP address right here this is your A record and go ahead and type the IP address the real IP address that we got from the status and put it in here and tell it you want to change it when however long you wanted to take I put one and a half hour or an hour or so sometimes this takes a while so you may have to pause and wait so I'm using I teach you geek this is another domain name I use just to play around with to do tutorials but the real domain name is I teach geek so we go ahead and put that IP address in there and then you just save the zone alright once it's saved you may have to wait a little while but you can go ahead and test it like this to see the IP address change so you want to go, go back to the terminal now to see the A record change even though it may change it still may not be pointing and you may have to wait a little while it depends on your service but to check to make sure that it is pointing to the right thing we want to go ahead and ping your URL that you that you made or your domain name alright you put control C and you should see the new IP address that you put in here the A record should be pointing to your computer at home or in your small business this should be the IP address that you had just put in so you know that the A record is pointing to your computer now after that you just have to sit and wait um, and you want to go ahead and to go ahead and test it just go ahead and put don't try it on your local machine try it like on your phone that's not connected to Wi-Fi try it on a different computer that's not connected to your domain because sometimes it still can connect so try a computer that is not connected to your network try like your your phone and turn off the Wi-Fi and type in the URL and it should come up if it's working right so we're going to go ahead and put the URL and this should still come up if you get a, a error or anything you did something wrong or you just have to wait for your A record to update in on their DNS server so I'm your host Rashad thanks for watching